look at that. Beautiful. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We are lit right now. Look at that. On the menu today, an incredible Christmas centerpiece that will blow your mind. Today, I'm going to be making a whole roasted jerk spiced cauliflower wellington. complete with its own gravy. This recipe is absolutely spectacular. So if you don't know, jerk is a traditional cooking method native to Jamaica, where meat is covered in like a dry spice marinade or a wet spice marinade. And as you may know, you've been following my YouTube channel for a long time. I love Caribbean flavors and I'm often inspired by many of the ingredients. I'm lucky I live in London near Brixton, which has a big Caribbean influence. So I can go to the market and get great ingredients from all around the world. So often they inspire my recipes, but many of you have been asking me where I get things like scotch bonnet, chilies from, plants and etc. Today's video, I've actually teamed up with Grace Foods who asked me to make a Christmas roast. Now I thought I was gonna embarrass myself here. What can I do using their incredible seasonings and marinade to make something exciting? And actually I thought to myself, maybe this is needed. I want to do something different this Christmas. We've had quite a tough year. Let's jazz up Christmas dinner. And I think using their seasoning is actually helped make an incredible recipe here. So I'm going to be using their jerk seasoning, the wet form. It's got spring onions, it's got pimento, it's got all the Caribbean flavors that you need done and dusted. So you're not going to have to go around finding the uh, ingredients. You've got the paste ready to make. And this is what I'm going to use to crust my cauliflower in and it's also going to be the base flavor for the gravy so trust me this is mind-blowing let's get straight into the recipe first up what i'm going to do is prepare my roasting ingredients i'm just going to roughly chop some mushrooms leek celery carrot and red onion and get those into my roasting tray i'm also going to add some garlic just a few cloves and as you can see, I'm not really peeling anything. I'm just chopping it roughly and getting it into the pan because this is just our roasting veg for the finished gravy. So that's the roasting veg done. Now we're gonna sit the cauliflower in the center of that. But before we do that, we need to make this really lovely paste that I'm gonna coat around it. And that's that Grace's Jerk uh, seasoning paste. So into a small mixing bowl, I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of Grace's Jerk seasoning, some tomato puree, some balsamic vinegar, and a little bit of vegetable oil. So just mix this up until it's really nicely combined. It is quite spicy, the Jerk seasoning marinade, but adds a little twist to your Christmas dinner and I really like it. That smells absolutely incredible. So cauliflower, lightly trim the stalk before putting it in the roasting tray. And we're just gonna spread lashings of this over the top of it. And if it goes on all the roasting veg, I'm fine with that too, because that's gonna be flavor that's gonna be in the finished gravy too. Look at that. And this is gonna caramelize around don't waste any of this. Just before this goes into the oven to roast for about an hour, set at 180 degrees Celsius, I'm gonna drizzle over some olive oil, a squeeze of lemon, and a sprinkle of salt. So whilst the cauliflower is roasting in the oven, it's time to make the other layers that are gonna go inside the pastry. Now I'm gonna make a mushroom duck sal, which is a traditional mushroom layer that you put in Wellington. Essentially, it's just sauteed chopped mushrooms with uh, shallots or onions and herbs. So what I'm gonna do first is just roughly chop up some chestnut mushrooms, get those sauteing off in a hot pan with some shallots add some herbs and get that blitz until it's just a finely chopped sort of paste essentially in my blender. So to make a really flavoursome duck sal, just make sure you get loads of lovely golden brown caramelisation on the onions and the mushrooms. Shh. 
Oh, smells amazing. Don't clean out that pan because we have to do something else in it after. Oh, gosh. And that's the kind of consistency you want there. Just a light chop. A few bigger lumps are fine. Just add some more rustic character to your amazing Wellington. There's the mushroom, duck cells, done. So as I said, don't wash off your pan as long as there's no burnt bits in there. Add a little bit more oil, get it over a high heat and then saute a load of spinach in there because that's gonna be another layer in our Wellington. Saute the spinach for two to three minutes, add a tiny pinch of salt whilst it's sauteing. Only a little bit of salt because uh, spinach absorbs it so much can easily get too salty. Once it's sauteed, remove it from the pan and put it into a clean kitchen cloth and squeeze out any excess water. We do not want that excess water coming out into our Wellington as it will make the pastry soggy and we'll end up with a soggy bottom. Spinach layer, done. It's been about an hour, it's time to get our grace jerk roasted cauliflower out of the oven. Let's have a look at this. Look at that. Yes. Beautiful crust on top. Oh, yes. And those lovely veg around it would have soaked up some of the jerk marinade as well. So what I'm gonna do now is remove the cauliflower from the roasting tray and just pop it on the plate just to cool down. And then I'm gonna heat the tray over a medium heat and make a gravy similar to the gravy I made in my ultimate vegan Christmas gravy that I posted on my YouTube recently. But this is gonna be a gravy with a twist because it's got that amazing jerk flavor. I'm gonna add some white wine too and a few other extra special ingredients and make this gravy the ultimate complement to the Wellington. God, look at these words I'm using. This smells so good. So the bits of that jerk marinade that drop down into the roasting tree and now caramelizing all around the roasting veg. All of their flavors that came out whilst this was roasting that are stuck on the bottom of the pan are gonna come up now and this is gonna be the most beautiful gravy. After a couple of minutes of sauteing this, I'm gonna add some tomato puree. That's gonna add a lovely umami flavor and then I'm gonna add some flour and that's gonna help thicken this gravy in the long run. So we're getting some lovely flavor built up on the tray now and we need to deglaze it. So I'm gonna use some white wine. If you don't wanna use white wine or alcohol, uh, you can use something like apple juice or vegetable stock. I am gonna be adding some vegetable stock, but just use additional vegetable stock. I got about a cup and a half of white wine going in. Just let the liquid bubble away and that will cook off any alcohol too. And you'll be left with the beautiful sweetness of the wine. Oh, it smells so good already. So I just added some Marmite. That's gonna help add that rich umami flavor. If you can't find Marmite for whatever reason, add something like soy sauce or miso paste. It's gonna add a really nice color too to the gravy. And then we're gonna add some vegetable stock and let this bubble away for a few minutes. Add a big, add a big bunk. <laughs> add a big bunch, add a big bunch. Add a big, <laughs> Add a big bunch of fresh thyme and let the gravy bubble away for about 12 to 15 minutes. Make sure you're scraping any bits off the bottom of the pan. So as you can see, the gravy is thickened up. It's got a beautiful, rich color to it. And it's now time to pass it through a sieve. And as I'm passing it through the sieve, using my ladle and the back of the ladle, I'm gonna press the veg so that they release any of their lovely juices into the gravy as well. And that is the gravy done. That's a lovely, lovely consistency.
That is amazing. Wow, so simple. It's tangy. It's got a lovely sweetness and an acidity to it. Very bold. And then as you swallow, bam, you got this spice kick from the, the Grace's Jerk Marinade. It's so, so good. That's gonna complement this Wellington so well. I'm very flipping happy with this gravy. And it's time to wrap the Grace's Roast Jerk cauliflower up in the pastry. This is the exciting bit. All of this stuff that you've seen up until now can be done two, three days in advance. The wrapping of the pastry, um, making it into a Wellington can be just done Christmas morning on the big day. So it's quite an efficient recipe actually. So imagine it's Christmas day morning and you're ready to get your roast in the oven. All the hard work is out the way. You've got the gravy done, you've got your roast cauliflower done, and you're ready to wrap it up in the amazing pastry and the mushroom and the spinach coating. So what you need to do is just sprinkle some flour on your work surface and roll out the puff pastry, just a little bit thinner than it already is. You don't need to roll it out too much, and then spread over some of the mushroom duck sal, the lovely wilted spinach, and then top it with the cauliflower. So as you can see, I've left a nice border of pastry around the mushroom and spinach topping. And this is very important. If you're making all this same day, make sure your cauliflower has cooled down properly. As you'll see, once it's cooled down, more of the liquid will come out of it and that will stop you getting a soggy bottom. What you need to do, pick up your cauliflower and put it on the pastry upside down. Look, like so. And what I've made here is a quick pastry glaze. I've got some maple syrup, a little bit of vegetable oil, and some vegan milk. And I'm just gonna brush that around the edge, and then we're gonna wrap this all up. So now, quite rustically, just wrap this up. Okay, so now we've wrapped it up. It does look a bit messy on top, I must admit, but we flip it over and we put it onto a lined baking tray and glaze it up. There you go. And just shape it, make sure it's nice and neat. Imagine, all of those flavors are now trapped inside. We've got that roasted cauliflower that has been sort of infiltrated by this incredible Grace's jerk seasoning and all the other lovely flavors that we got inside there. We've got that amazing mushroom mixture, the spinach. God, this is gonna be incredible. And what's even better, we've got the gravy to serve with it that complements all the flavors inside here so well. So this now needs to go in the oven for about 30 minutes until it's lovely and golden and crisp. Before it does go in the oven though, I'm just gonna brush more of the glaze over the top and sprinkle a little bit of salt on there. And then we can serve our dinner up. Oh, do you want me to put a little star on top, Tom? Cool. Yeah, all right then, we'll put a little star on top. Look at them. Fresh from my edible gifts recipe video that I made last Christmas where I showed you how to make incredible edible Christmas gifts and we made some Christmas cookie with, with uh, is it, oh wait, Christmas cookies with these. So we're just gonna re-roll this out and I just cut some shapes. <laughs> it's like a sheriff's badge to me, that one. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? I'm really proud of this recipe. I really am. I can't wait for the guys to taste this. Uh, so this goes in the oven for 30 minutes. It is time to get the Grace Jerk Roasted Cauliflower Wellington. It's a mouthful, but it's gonna be the most decadent, beautiful mouthful you'll ever taste out of the oven right now. Oh my God. Smells so good. Oh, yes, look at that. Look at that. 
beautiful. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! We are lit right now, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at that caramelization. We got a little bit of burnt stars, but it's fine. Look at that golden color. That is stunning. And let this rest for about five minutes and then carve it up. Look at that beautiful consistency. Whew. It's a lot of gravy too, so you can get your bread out and dunk. So before I cut into our incredible Wellington and give it a taste, I need to tell you about the giveaway. So if you want to win some goodies from Grace, comment below this video a Christmas tree emoji and comment the Christmas tree emoji on the food picture of this dish that I've just posted on my Instagram. Follow myself and Grace Foods. I'll pop all the written details below the video plus the full written recipe for this too. nervous actually it's like a surprise what we're we gonna get inside here it goes I'm proper nervous oh yeah look at that that is the grace jerk cauliflower roasted wellington before i drop it i'm putting it on this plate imagine serving this to your friends and family at Christmas time or on any special occasion. Look inside there. I am very, very happy with that. And now, not forgetting this lovely gravy. Watch this. All over. And you would serve that with your vegetables. Maybe you're making a seitan roast too, roast potatoes, parsnips, my vegan Yorkshire puddings that are in my Christmas book. Flipping heck. That's a big mouthful. Wow, that is flipping good. It is spicy. This is the hot Grace's Jerk season. But if you like a bit of spice, this is the perfect Christmas dinner for you. Woo, warms up your mouth. The cauliflower is so, it's just, it's perfectly cooked and it almost goes creamy, like I said, when you bite, in, bite into it. You've got that lovely mushroom around it. I'm really, really happy with this recipe. The fact that you can make the roast, make the gravy too at the same time, it's such a surprise when you cut into it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for Grace for supporting the video. I'll pop all their details below, plus the written recipe and the giveaway details. Like, share, and, sub uh, like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see you soon with another video.